uh, the electoral, uh, the election map. Uh, 2016 was an anomaly due to terrible voter turnout in the Midwestern swing states. The Donald Trump didn't gain votes, just people stayed home. So, 2016 is an anomaly for Pennsylvania. 2016 is an anomaly for Michigan and Wisconsin. They're pretty much Democrat in all of the other years. And the election is practically already over. It is going to be a clean sweep of the Midwest. Kamala gets all 44 states in the Midwestern swing states. Harris has come out to 44 in the reverse. So the Democrats have already won the election. They've already got the 270 that they need. <laughs> Between these three states, I, um, I feel great about Michigan and Pennsylvania. Wisconsin, um, uh, I'm the least confident about compared to the other two states. Kamala will win Nevada. People from California have moved over there. Georgia is going to be a hedge in case of any of the three swing states go red, which I doubt it. Um, How the black vote turned out for a white guy, an old white guy, Joe Biden, and Kamala Harris is black. Georgia is going to go blue. Obama won North Carolina. Why, 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 why can't Kamala Harris win North Carolina? Why, why cannot? Why can't she win North Carolina? So it's going to be over 300 votes. It's going to be a, a, a landslide victory. Donald Trump says, Oh, that a landslide victory in 2016. And this was despite... Losing the popular vote by 3 million votes. Now I can see Arizona going red because it's the racist st state that was, um, what was it? Barry Goldwater's home state in the 1964 election. He opposed the civil rights legislation. Look at how Oral-B Electric cleans up. But I think based off of... 2000, and, and, and the border is a key issue again. So Arizona may go red. Uh, it may, in order to take Arizona, I think they may need Mark Kelly. But, um, but the thing that does it for me, Sandra Day O'Connor, the first female Supreme Court justice, Kamala Harris may take Arizona too. Now, uh, Donald Trump is a big, giant loser. The abortion issue, black people turning up for Kamala Harris, black people hating Donald Trump, Project 2025, more and more people are just aware about what Project 2025 really represents. It's consolidating power completely in the executive branch. A right-wing authoritarian strongman is what Donald Trump is, and, and the majority of the country is against that. The odds are against Kamala taking both states in North Carolina and Georgia, but then again, Donald Trump is a huge, giant loser. And just maybe, Republicans have to actually run on, on governance for once. They gotta respect women's rights. They gotta fight against the climate. You know, Project 2025 is gonna gut not only the Department of Education, but the Environmental Protection Agency. Major? Republicans wanna get rid of the Environmental Protection Agency. And because again, the Republican Party is under, um, they're under the pockets of big oil. I believe voter enthusiasm has really made a huge difference. Donald Trump's a big giant loser. He inherited his dad's money. He bankrupted himself. He changed his father's will. He screwed out his siblings. Donald Trump is a mitigated disaster. He can't get a loan from a U.S. bank. He, he needs to borrow dirty Russian oligarch money. Not, not just the fact that Kamala Harris, she got $81 million in, in, in 24 hours. 
But Joe Biden has performed, he had the best midterms of any first year president in 40 years. Democrats have lost fewer seats in the House of Reps than any Democratic president's first midterm in at least 40 years. Typically, incumbents, they lose a lot of seats in the midterms. Biden barely lost any seats in the House. Best midterms for governor since 1986. American people spoke. They barely lost any seats. People are against the governance of Donald Trump. Typically, the Republican, the, the incumbent loses a ton of House seats. Joe Biden only lost nine seats compared to the blue wave in 2018. He lost 40 Seats. He lost 40 seats in the House of Representatives, Donald Trump. Joe Biden only lost nine seats. The American people reject, wholeheartedly reject, Donald Trump style policies. Bush only gained seats because, oh, he brainwashed America in the war and go hate the Muslims. You know, Bush is hate the Muslims and Trump is hate the Mexicans. What's next under the next Republican president? What's next? What's next? Anyway, this election is already over. There is a new sense of profound energy by having an old, uh, demented guy out of the election. But Joe Biden still did a great job. He bought back chips manufacturing jobs. He created new green energy jobs, high-paying green energy jobs. Lowered the deficit. Expanded Obamacare. Took us out of Afghanistan. Stood up to Vladimir Putin. Yeah. Will, will, will the electoral map be this lopsided? Never underestimate Gen Z. They hate Donald Trump. Don't underestimate how highly unpopular the Project 2025 agenda of the Republican Party is. The people are going to speak again. The, the people have spoken. We the people of the United States of America wholeheartedly reject Donald John Trump in right-wing style policies that degrade women and do nothing to help the environment and economically do nothing but give tax breaks to the wealthiest Americans. This is why Trump is going to lose again. 